Hi guys, bought this the other day off AliExpress, a very cheap, very simple helicopter, infrared controlled. It's one of those ones that once you set it off, you've got no control over it, it just hovers or goes up and down. But it does sense if something's underneath it, with a sensor there, so it does rise up to avoid it. But other than that, you only switch it on and off, basically. That's the controller. That actually says, I don't know if we'll see it, because it's white on white. But that says up, and that says start. So you press that button to start it, and it does actually rise up. But I think if you press that button again, it'll go up higher. Can't really demonstrate that very effectively in here because it just goes up and hits the ceiling. Um, but again, it, it tries to maintain a level and if you put your hand underneath it, it detects your hand underneath it and it'll rise up a bit further. Anyway, what I thought, having done the video of it flying, we could take it apart and have a look inside. It's got very small screws. I'll get a magnet to collect them and then we'll take it apart. Right, magnet in a bit of blue tack. It'll be interesting to see what size LiPo battery it's got in it. Potentially, if you were trying to repair another one, you never know, the gears might be useful in it. It was about, I don't know, two pounds something, three pounds something. It was ridiculously cheap. I think Poundland had been selling very similar ones recently. A little bit more money, but not much more. They were still cheap. I didn't buy them in Poundland because I thought I don't really need one that does nothing other than go up and down. I only bought this on AliExpress because I was making the money up on the order to get to the free shipping costs. All right, well, there we are. Not a lot to see. A single motor with gears that drive the propellers in contra-rotating directions which should stabilize it in the air. It did actually spin round, so it's not perfectly synchronized. But that didn't stop it flying. So yeah, we've got the gearbox there. I'm not gonna take the gearbox apart. We could look a bit closer. So we can see the gear chain. So, small little cordless motor, pinion gear, and then that drives the propellers in opposite directions. And we've got counterbalance weights to help it balance. These will have a gyroscopic effect to try and hold it level as so they're spinning. Battery without popping it right out. We can't see whether it's got any writing on it. I can't see any writing on it to tell us what size it is. But I mean, that's about 10 millimeters by a little bit more 10 by 15, I would guess. And then this might be useful for another purpose, I suppose, as a motion detector. And it's got an onboard USB charging circuit. I expect we can just pop this out and look at the other side. Yeah. Well, there'll be a black blob chip, I would imagine. 
Oh no, not a black blob chip. An actual chip with numbers on it. Oh, I'll see if I can do a close-up of that. But that, that one is just the indicator LED, letting you know it's switched on. That one, I would think, is the sensor, infrared sensor. And I don't know whether they work together, but that will be the one that will be doing the um, depth per per depth detection. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll see if I can get a close-up of the chip, see if we've got any numbers on them or anything. And then I'll put it back together, which you don't need to watch. Well, I've had a good look with the USB microscope, and I can't see any serial numbers on that chip. So we're no further forward there. So I will just put it back together. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.